you want to get fabric for Minecraft 1.21.7, we're going to do it in this video. Now, you're probably going to want to download some fabric mods. If you already have some, awesome. This video will show you how to install those. Otherwise, to get them, there's two popular places, CurseForge and Modrinth. You can find these linked in the description down below. Alongside pretty much everything we talk about in this video, it's going to be linked down below. But you can also Google Minecraft Mod Downloads, and you'll be able to find CurseForge and Modrinth here as well, and it will take you to these respective pages. Now, one thing you want to do when you're downloading mods from these sites is making sure that you're filtering for Fabric and the 1.21.7 version. All of these, for example, are available. We're going to go ahead and grab the Fabric API because that is a required mod for most Fabric mods that are out there, so it's going to go ahead and get it. We have it linked directly and specifically in the description as well. As you can see, I click Files there, click the three dots, click Download, and now the Fabric API is downloading. You may need to keep or save the file like this, but it's 100% safe to do that. And while Fabric is downloading, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGA to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Fabric Minecraft server, where you can play Fabric mods with your friends in minutes. There's even one-click installation of hundreds of mod packs, Fabric, NeoForge, Forge, whatever mod loader that that mod pack is on, it is one-click install on Simple Game Hosting. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so play Minecraft mods with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, you can also filter on Modrinth for the version and mod loader. For example, we could go ahead and grab Sodium here because, well, that is the most popular Minecraft mod, honestly. And when downloading, go to versions as always and making sure we're getting that 1.21 dot seven fabric version here. Now with that downloaded, we can go ahead and get fabric itself because that's the mod loader that's going to make all of this work basically. You can find it linked in the description down below or you can go ahead and Google Minecraft fabric download and it will take you to the fabric download page here on the fabric website. Once you're here, click download and then we want to click on this download for Windows button and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save it. Now with that, everything is downloaded. We've got a few mods. We've got the fabric mod loader itself. We can now get everything installed. First, we need to find the files though, and for me, they're in my downloads folder. We can see the fabric installer itself is here, as well as both of the fabric mods that we got. We're going to set the fabric mods to the side here and focus on the installer. Just go ahead and double click on the fabric installer and it will open up. You may get a warning saying it's a new program on your computer. You're good to open it anyway. Once you're here, just make sure 1.21.7 is selected, create profile is checked, and click install. The only reason that wouldn't work after you click install is if Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open, both need to be closed, and you also need to have played Minecraft 1.21.7 before. Go ahead and click OK, close out of that, and you can actually delete the fabric installer. Now we can install our fabric mods. To do that, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked, and you will have this fabric loader here. Hover over and click the folder icon. This will open your Minecraft folder. Here you should have a mods folder, but if you don't, no worries. Just create a new folder and title it mods, all lowercase. Open your mods folder and drag and drop any Minecraft fabric mods you want to install. It's that easy to add fabric mods to Minecraft 1.21.7 with fabric. Now, if we play Minecraft with using fabric, we will be able to see these mods active in game. Specifically, we'll be able to see sodium. I guess that's really the only mod that we installed. Fabric API is just an API mod that's kind of hard to tell it's working until you need another mod that requires it. Now, with that being said, this will work for any mod, but occasionally you'll install a mod and it won't work. Usually it's because it requires another mod like fabric API to work and you can usually find those on the mod page. But if we go to video settings here, we can see that this is in fact sodium, and that means you now know how to get mods for Minecraft 1.21.7 using fabric. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments, but we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.